Joanna herself has a remarkable story. Um, she discovered um, soon after the um, Ceausescu dictatorship ended, she discovered that she was the daughter of an anti-communist partisan. And um, she set out to find out more about the story um, in the security at the files. And she's written quite a lot about um, their case. Um, it, it, in fact, she talked about it here last year. Was it only last year? Yes. Yeah. Um, now, subsequently, after looking at the anti-communist partisans, she began to widen her research uh, to look at um, artists, uh, composers like Mihail Jura and uh, Paul Constantes Constantescu, uh, who were persecuted in the early years of, of the regime. And um, her most recent investigation is to do with Georgianescu. Um, and she's looking at what happened to him. Georgianescu was targeted by the communist authorities from the moment they took control of the country. They were trying to use him and other prominent figures in order to consolidate their image amongst the public and in particular abroad. To begin with, Enescu was perceived as being accommodating to the new master of the country. He did not turn down the offer to be part of the leadership of ARLUS, the Romanian Association for Stronger Links with the Soviet Union. So, in November 1944, he was elected chairman of the music section, musical section of the Arlus General Council. From the beginning, prominent intellectuals and academics joined Arlus, some left wings, uh, wingers, um, others believing they could have positive influence on relations, relations with the Soviet Union. But Enescu had not strong political views and was foremost interested in music. This is probably the main reason why, in April 1946, he agreed to uh, undertake a series of concerts in Moscow. With Enescu settled in Paris, the Securitate made several attempts starting in 1951 to assess his uh, character and that of Maria Cantacuzino Enescu, his wife, as well as their standards of living. His heart condition had deteriorated and he was prevented for, from playing in concerts, conducting and even teaching. But the main priorities of the directorate were to infiltrate Enescu's close circle of friends identify those who could be persuaded to pass an information about him and uh, judge their capacity to influence him. 